DC Comics' latest ongoing series for The Flash has mixed science fiction and superheroic concepts together for interesting combinations with characters like The Stillness and Uncoiled. However, author Cy Spurrier and artist Mike Deodato have also featured a heavy emphasis on Wally West's extended Flash family of characters. My name is Arico Braddock, and today, let's go ahead and see how some of Jai's powers are manifesting over in the pages of The Flash, Issue 5. Before we get deeper into the video, I want to encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button over on this video. The mind-bending take on the fastest man alive continues. As Wally West's powers continue to evolve beyond his understanding, another confrontation with the stillness makes the group wonder why they are here to protect the Earth, with the Flash or from him. While Wally seeks out the resident for answers, Jai has a secret he really needs to tell his dad. And Jai's quest to find Wally brings him, in him into the heart of the horrors affecting Central City. The Flash issue 5 is still written over from Cy Spurrier, featuring art from Mike Deodato. We have colors from Trish Mulvihill, letters from Hassan Otsman Elhau, as well as a really stirring cover over from Mike Deodato and Trish Mulvihill, teasing the fact that Wally West is really being tortured by these tentacles of these spooky Flash villains. Also, really appreciate some of the dark, negative space protruding in the background in this really fascinating hand reaching out towards Wally, featured prominently over on the cover. Want to extend a thank you to Adventures in Poor Taste and preview some of the fascinating art from Mike Deodato Jr. opening up this really fascinating issue of The Flash. So, Jai West actually serves as the narrator for this installment. And I think Cy Spurrier and Mike Deodato Jr. issue a fantastic sense of place here as they begin to establish the conflicted feelings that Jai carries towards his superhero powers. As usual, the stirring amount of panels over from Mike Deodato Jr. really captures some of the incredible stream of consciousness thought and just the really intense scenarios that Cy Spurrier really likes to lend towards this script here. Dating as far back to the premiere issue of Cy Spurrier and Mike Deodato Jr.'s Flash Run, there was a tease at this really interesting silhouette as well as the outcome towards Jai's powers. This issue just does a phenomenal job on following up on so many of those cliffhangers and really exploring the science fiction elements within Jai's own powers and how it relates to the rest of the Flash family. I really have to give it to how Cy Spurrier is mixing science fiction with the Flash family to create so many interesting scenarios. And I always wanted Jai to have a more prominent role within the scope of this series. I think this particular issue of the Flash just does a phenomenal job world building and introducing so many elements of characterization. Throughout this chapter of the Flash, Jai is also skeptical of Wally. Wally is split in so many different directions across some of these pages that Jai doesn't necessarily believe him even when Wally is trying to extend his true and altruistic feelings towards his son. There is so much going on between Michael Holt and Wally West's investigation into some of these strange anomalies affecting the Speed Force. And within the background, we get to see Jai really executing some of his new power set in trying to teleport or find the other Speed Force characters here. Once again, just the way Deodato Jr. and Spurrier sneak so many of these elements on the page and really introduce Wally and Jai together is very interesting. My all-time favorite aspect of The Flash issue 5 is when Jai is able to meet this fascinating character known as Inspector Pilgrim. Pilgrim and Jai have a very interesting dynamic between each other, especially as Jai is so skeptical of the Inspector at first. Watching their relationship grow as the issue develops is really, really fascinating, and I also really appreciate the exploration of Jai's powers that were teased so early on in the Flash run. I found it really fascinating how Inspector Pilgrim is able to detail and break down some of what Jai is able to accomplish as a superhero within the pages of the Flash. It seemed like there's much less limitations on his powers during the collage sequence where Jai is able to showcase how he's able to move around to all of these different conduits over within the comic book page. Finally here, I also thought it was really interesting how the character of Impulse 
was able to follow up on the cliffhanger regarding Max Mercury, I am just in awe of how many individual plot threads the current core flashbook is spinning within the narrative. In fact, I'm even still mystified by the relationship that Gorilla Grodd has to the core Flash series, and even found this mysterious tribe and prophecy to be fascinating, and I am interested to see if this could be the cause of the endless cosmic horror that has just broken out across the main Flash series. So at the end of the day here, I think the Flash issue 5 is yet another really phenomenal issue of this comic book title, this run as a whole almost feels like a sequel to what Jeremy Adams has accomplished over on his last run within the Flash narrative. And to me, the reason why is because of how Cy Spurrier is able to pick up on some of his plot threads with characters like Mr. Terrific, as well as the vast Flash family within the Wade household. I also really appreciate how so many of the different characters are getting their own plot threads, instances, power sets, and new moments to shine here. It really feels like across this core Flash run that the characters of the children between Linda and Wally now have their own personalities. I want to know from you, what are some of your thoughts over on this new Flash run? Are you appreciating it as much as I am? What do you think about some of the fascinating villains making up this issue and the really close attention to detail that Cy Spurrier has over on the characterization? Thank you so much for coming to check out our video review over on The Flash Issue 5. We'll be back to see whatever cosmic horror concepts Cy Spurrier and Mike Deodato Jr. are able to dream up. Thanks so much and I'll see you soon.